think I'm going to go to the hospital because I know it got to be my blood sugar. Y'all, I get to the hospital. My blood sugar was 559. And then they did blood work uh, within like 30 minutes. And my blood sugar was 649. Man, you guys, guys, pay attention to when your body starts talking to you. When your body starts to talk to you, you better pay attention. Because if you don't, it could be signs of imminent problems. You may think it probably might be a small issue, but it could turn out to be a major problem. Shout out to this young lady right here, Lady Trucker. I did a feature on her before. The same feature that I featured her in before her blood sugar was like through the roof. And again, it is through the roof again. This young lady is gonna come on and talk to you guys and tell you guys that she was experiencing blurred vision, which if you're a diabetic, blurred vision is one of those triggers. That's why you have to get your eyes examined every year. Not every two years like it's supposed to, but if you're a diabetic, you gotta get your eyes checked every year. They'll, they'll look at your eyes and see behind the eye to see if it's diabetic tendencies. She felt that she needs to go to the hospital to get herself checked. And when she got there, her glucose levels was in the 500. And then when they double checked again, it's exploded to six, which is dangerous levels. Those levels could cause immediate stroke, heart attack, anything could have happened to this young lady while she was on the road. Luckily, she paid attention to what her body was telling her and she was able, able to get to the hospital in time to get it checked out. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Yeah, so I was about to drive my truck to South Carolina. I'm in North Carolina right now. And my eyesight was like really blurry and I was really dizzy. And I just, I didn't feel right. And I was like, well, I think I'm gonna go to the hospital because I know it gotta be my blood sugar. Y'all, you know, I get to the hospital, my blood sugar was 559. And then they did blood work uh, within like 30 minutes. And my blood sugar was 649. So I did get admitted. I will not be driving my truck. Um, I'm glad I came in though because it was crazy because um, I was headed to South Carolina to get a, a new truck. And I was just like, yeah, I don't feel safe driving. So it was a good thing I came in. I don't know how long I'll be here though because when my blood sugar was 649, they got it all the way down to like 180. And this morning it was already up to Guys, let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Have this ever happened to you? What's your glucose levels? What's your glucose levels? Is it high? What and do you and if it is high, you definitely got to go and get it checked out, right? Let me know in the comments below if you like content like this. If you have a story to tell or anything like that, reach out to me, Lockout Man Podcast Guest at gmail.com, and we will share your story. Again, go check this young lady out. She's on TikTok. I hope she gets better. I hope that she continued to get in good health and hopefully she would get her glucose levels down to a more controllable level. Until next time, everybody. If it wasn't for us nasty old truck drivers out here on the road, you wouldn't have none of y'all shit. This video was brought to you by a truck and a truck driver.